Hello, I am Tommy Bennett, presenting on behalf of myself and Maury Mendiola. And today we are looking at exploring learning menus with Google Workspace. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications on our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. And now we're going to get started with learning menus in Google Workspace. And this will be a two-part session covering the Google tools and then the learning menus themselves. So some background information. HCS has implemented a one-to-one -one student device policy. Each student coming into the district is issued a device to use for their learning. HCS is also providing the information for students to access Google Workspace for Education and to guide our instruction using these personalized digital devices where we've got the personalized digital learning core five, and this is guiding our instructional design. The core five is student ownership, creativity, collaboration, targeted instruction, and digital content. So as we look at designing our instruction, this core five is what's driving our process. Now for learning menus, we're pulling out student engagement, student ownership, and creative thinking. We feel like if students feel more ownership through choice, then they'll be more engaged. And our end product or our end objective is to have students thinking creative, creatively for problem solving. Now learning menus are the method that we're choosing for student-driven instruction. And so the learning menu provides student choice similar to what a choice board would do, but the difference here is that the learning menu is a deliberate instructional pathway. It's linear, so the students have to follow this path from the start to the end to create the product or solution to what's going on. Each section builds on the previous section, so you can't you know, pick and choose like the Jeopardy board or the choice board. You have to follow the path. The one thing about this is when you look for examples for your learning menus, think about restaurant menus. Of course, also doing this, this can make you hungry, so be careful as you're working on your learning menu not to get too hungry. The tools we're using are digital, and we're looking specifically at the Google Workspace apps. So Google Drive is our, our go-to storage and launchpad for developing all of our information and organizing how we're keeping up with our digital files. Google Meet is the delivery platform for remote learning. If we have to deliver instruction to students who are outside the building uh, for whatever reason, then we can use Google Meet to have class virtually. Google Meet can also be used students to record their presentation answers if that's an option for them to respond to the problem. Through Google Drive, we can access all of the Google apps for Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and Drawings. And this is both how we're creating the instruction that we're delivering, and it's also how students are responding to us. So both teachers and students are using these apps. Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Classroom are all integrated so that when we post an assignment through Google Classroom, which is our learning management or content management system, it goes out to both Gmail and Google Calendar. So students are notified in both locations that there's an assignment or material posted and that they need to go check it out. So Gmail and Google Calendar and Google Classroom are all working together to help manage assignment due dates, communication with students, and letting the students kind of keep track of all of the work that they have going on in their various classes. And of course, all of the Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Classroom, anything we're running through there and attaching is usually running through Google Drive. With Google Drive giving us options on sharing and file controls so we can either keep it within the classroom or within the school system, or we can let the whole world see it through the internet, depending on how we're wanting to present our information. Now, two apps that are not part of Google Workspace, but do integrate with Google as useful additions would be Canva, which is visual. This helps us kind of spiffy up our presentations, our pages, anything that we've got to add graphics on to make it more interesting. 
And then Band Lab is a more recent addition for Ori County Schools, and this is going to help with the, any sounds type things we might want going on with the apps and things like that. The next part up here will be the learning menu template. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.